Hey, what's up guys? This is Chad from the Overland Attic channel. And in this video, I wanna talk about passing your ham radio license exam. The title of this video talks about using a shortcut and I'll talk about what that shortcut is here in a minute. Uh, but first I wanna talk about uh, just why I wanted to get my ham radio license. Gives you a little bit of a backstory, it won't take very long. So as the channel name suggests, I'm into overlanding. If you guys are regular watchers of my channel, you understand that and know what that means. But the biggest reason I wanted to get my ham radio license was so I could talk to other guys on the trail that were also using ham radios. A lot of the guys are starting to kind of go that direction um, using ham radios over uh, CB radios or GMRS radios even. CB is, uh, tends to be fa uh, being phased out right now and GMRS is, is starting to take its place, um, which is great. I have a GMRS radio in my rig, but the advantage of ham is, uh, there's, there's lots of advantages, but one of the biggest ones is the, the reach that you have. You can, you can transmit and receive a lot farther uh, on the, the ham radio bands and with your ham radio. So that was number one. That was the biggest reason why I wanted to get it. Uh, also, um, you know, I, I wouldn't consider myself a prepper at all, um, but I'm starting to kind of look into that and learn a little bit more about prepping. And it, it would be nice to have, you know, the capability in a, an emergency situation if the power went down for an extended period of time. Um, you know, you weren't able to charge your cell phones. You weren't able to, you know, the, even the cell towers went down. It'd be nice to still be able to communicate with, with people. So that is a, a smaller aspect and, and that aspect may grow um, over time with me. But the biggest reason, like I said, was, was communicating with guys out on the trail. So that's the backstory of why I wanted to get my license. Now let's talk about um, how I actually passed the test. I've actually passed it, uh, studied for it, and took it in under 24 hours. And I don't know if that's unusual or not. There's probably a lot of guys that do that. Um, but uh, I crammed for the test, basically. I used this app called HRE-Tech, T-E-C-H. T -E -C -H, and you can find it on um, you know, the Apple Store. I'm not sure if it's for, I don't know if they have it for Android also. But um, let me pull it up here and I'll show you. Um, looks like this. And very basic app, but what it does is on the ham radio license exam, they have a database of I think 300, roughly 300 questions, and you only have to answer 35. So the test consists of 35 multiple choice questions out of that database of 300. So when you go in to take your exam, uh, they're going to choose at random, I'm pretty sure a computer just chooses them at random, the 35 questions that you're going to receive for your exam. So this app, and there are other apps like it out there, um, this app has those database of questions, the same database of questions, and it breaks it down, this, this app anyway breaks it down by section. Let me pull it up and I'll show you real quick. So in the, in the, in the menu here, you just, there's a couple different options, but I would, I would start off by choosing the study correct answers option. And once you pick that, it's gonna show you, um, hopefully this is focusing in, I'll sh I may show a little, um, section over here in the video of a closer up view of the of the app but it has uh, different sections of the exam and there are you know eight to ten to twelve questions in each section so what i recommend you doing and this is what i did is i just started at the top and i would choose a section and immediately it starts asking you questions and showing you the correct answers to those questions and the correct answer will be in green and um the nice thing about this is this is the exact question that's on the exam. If you get this particular question, it's the exact question and it'll be in this exact order. Um, it'll be, you know, if this, this particular one is answer C, it will be answer C. It won't be switched around or anything like that. So what I did to, to pass this test is I only looked at the green answer. I didn't even look at the other answers because I wanted to kind of burn in my memory the correct answer. I thought if I looked at the other answers as well that weren't correct, I thought it would confuse my brain when I saw it on the test and I might accidentally pick the wrong one. So I went through each question and I only looked at the green question. I blocked the other ones out and I would just look at that answer, kind of memorize it, and you tap it to go to the next question. And I do the same thing on the next question. I would read the question, let it sink in, and then I would look at the green answer, the correct answer only, and you know, kind of embed that in my memory as best I could. And I, I did that for every section that I could. Now, I didn't study every single question. I went through a lot of the sections on here. Um, I just didn't have time. In 24 hours, that's a short amount of time. So um, 
and actually it was less than 24 hours. I, I started studying the afternoon before and I took it, uh, it was in the afternoon too, so I guess it was about 24 hours, but obviously I slept over, you know, over the course of that 24 hours. So I didn't actually study 24 hours, but anyway, that's what I did. I took a, went through as many of the sections as I could and studied the correct answers. Now, once you feel comfortable and you wanna maybe take a practice test, this app lets you do that too. There's an option on here that says take a section quiz or take a sample test. I'd recommend doing both. What I did is I studied for maybe an hour and then I took um, a sample test. And it actually shows your progress through the app uh, and it keeps track of uh, your, your score history. So you can see if you're trending better or trending worse. Um, if you're trending worse, maybe it means you need to study a little bit more to take the next practice test. Um, or you can take a section quiz. So if you study one section uh, over and over and over and you feel really confident with those answers in that section, you can take the section quiz and it will also track that too. So uh, this is a really great app. Like I said, there are other ones out there, but this is the one I found and the one that, I don't know, I just kind of gravitated to and I just started using it and I liked it. So that's essentially how I did it. Um, now, I know there's a lot of people watching this, especially maybe some experienced ham operators that are watching this and going, wow, uh, you totally missed the, the mark as far as the purpose of the test and learning and everything. Look, I get that. I just, my goal was to go in and pass the test and then actually figure out along the way the concepts because I'm telling you, studying this app and studying the correct answers, you will not understand some of the concepts of ham radio. You just won't. You're gonna, you've memorized the right answers and that's it. Um, so, so that's what I would recommend to you and that's what I'm continuing to do now. After I've passed the test, I'm going through it, I'm learning and reading and absorbing as much an, uh, information as I can about ham radio because I do truly want to learn. I want to learn about um, you know, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do. Um, you know, the test tells you what the FCC rules are, but there are kind of some um, things in the community that are kind of no-nos that you're not really supposed to do and some, if you do them people can tell you're a newbie and those kind of things. So now after I've passed the test and, and if you've passed the test um, what I recommend you doing is getting this manual and, and I would even actually recommend you getting the manual before you take the test and reading through as much of it as you can. Um, I only had 24 hours so I didn't have a lot of time to actually study the manual. I wanted to memorize the correct answers to make sure I passed the test. Um, but this is the, the manual here, the ham radio license manual. This is the official manual. Let me get it in focus here for you. And this is the latest edition. I got this at Barnes and Noble. This is a uh, fourth edition right here. This, is, this also contains all the correct answers, all the questions and all the correct answers. Um, but this also goes into depth about the different concepts and you know, basically what you need to understand about ham radio. So this is a great resource. And I've already learned a lot just starting to read through it. Um, so if you have time, also supplement your studying with this if you can. Um, but the app is, I really think, going to help you a lot. All right, so, so that's it. That's how I studied for it and passed it in under 24 hours. Um, it's a secret, if you will. That's what I called it in the title. But, you know, really it's just cramming for the test and studying the right answers. Um, after you pass the test or before, either one, um, there's also some great resources out on YouTube. There's some guys that have some great YouTube channels, and I want to mention them right now. I've already started watching some of their videos. And they're really great. So one of, my, one of the channels I came across is called Ham Radio Crash Course. Um, he's a younger guy and he's really funny, um, but that's a great channel. Uh, there's another one called Ham Radio Concepts. Uh, that one's really great too. He's a, he's a guy that's got a bunch of videos out there and he teaches a lot of, a lot of great stuff on there. Uh, there's another one called Jim W6LG and uh, that W6LG, that's his ham call sign. Um, he's an older gentleman, but uh, really great information that he gives out in his videos. He's been doing this a long time, I think since the 60s, I think he said, so he's, he's very experienced. Um, the last channel is one called K6UDA, and that's also this guy's call sign. He's really funny. Uh, he he uh, puts a lot of humor into his videos, um, so I really recommend you checking that one out too. And there's probably a lot of other ones out there. Um, I just recommend you getting out there and, and, and looking some up on YouTube. Anyway guys, that's all I got. Just wanted to share that with you on how I passed the test in 24 hours. 
And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button down there and subscribe to the channel. This channel is really more about overlanding and, and exploring and camping. Um, but I did want to take my ham radio license and I thought I'd share with you guys how I passed it. So hopefully it was helpful. And I'll leave all, all the YouTube channels I mentioned in the license manual and, and the app in the description below. So be sure and check that out. All right, guys. See you later.